What is Saturn? What is Saturn? Is it satanic? Is Saturn satanic? Well, Saturn is the final planet. Saturn is the old man. Saturn was revered in ancient times as the old man Moses or before him etc so Saturn is it satanic this is a long and lengthy idea the fraternai saturni that in Germany was a secret society that was based around Saturn and they were on a mission to help mankind through good works and through benevolence. Now, there's been a lot of hocus pocus going on about this Saturn call and all this garbage. They don't understand it. It's, it's too bad. But anyways, there's something to it. I want to give you that. That there are Kabbalists and numerologists using Saturnian things in ritual. Now let me give you the beneficial side of that. These people, and we know what it is, elites using Saturnian Kabbalah, I want to tell you, there's a real downside to that, okay? So the people that have pointed that out, they are right about them using Saturnian Kabbalah. However, Saturn, it creates old age in people. Saturn is Moses. Saturn is the old wise one. Now, why is that? It goes way into ancient doctrines that each of the planets has its own life and its own being. And Saturn will be the final of those beings in the culmination of the age of the solar system. So, it wasn't, excuse me, it wasn't the first planet, okay? But it will be the last. Now, let me tell you, though. People have been overtly concerned, right, with Saturn, Kabbalah, that's being propagated. Well, here's the plus side of that, okay? They can't, they can't, they can't use that type of magic for very long without it affecting them. See, I would prefer to use the Venusian magic because it's beautiful. It's youth giving, it's benevolent, it's feminine, it's solar, and it's light. Saturn is more of the cold, withdrawn, ancient energy. And it, like an ancient forest, will reverberate the Saturnian light. And so, this cult, the real Fraternus Saturni, were very humble and they weren't they weren't doing Saturnian Kabbalah like against the public or anything so if you do on your own a form of Saturnian magic for yourself which most people would would shun this idea but I'm telling you it will make you a better person um, because you, when you approach something like that you become better not at first. So the Saturnian Kabbalah um, from this numerology and all those things is foolhardy and it won't last very long. It has its effect, but you can already see that it's not, they're not using it as much. It can't be used that much. The people who used it either are going to perish because they're not strong in their spirit or 
they're going to find out that they are afraid of Saturn. And then they're going to serve the true God that Saturn is a part of. Or they're going to try to turn away from Saturn and go back to the light, which would be more like a Venus, you know, morning star, which to me is the most healing of the light. You don't want to be healed necessarily by the old Saturnian old age wisdom. So it's the, it's the planet of, of, of the wisdom of the old age. So they, they really hyped the shit out of it online. And I was just thinking, you know what? There's nothing I can say. Because the name derives from Satan, that's enough for people's minds to just, wow. So it really is false theology to think that Saturn is evil or something like that. But in certain scenarios of Kabbalah, they could use it against people with some successes in their dark plan, but it won't work. It just, <laughs> Saturn will, if you use Saturn, you're going to have to be responsible or um, accountable to Saturn after that. So now what happens? You either have to become wise and return to your truth, or you're going to be destroyed by the, the ugly side of Saturn is death. So the people that <clears throat> the people that solemnly respect death also in their wisdom respect all the other forces of life and facets of life and archetypes of the living world because death is one of the gods Saturn is one of the gods he's not death but he has that side to him because he's the finality of old age and he will be the last standing planet you can't go into Saturn. He'll trap you. So why be so worried about Saturn this, Saturn that? It's part of the world. It's not satanic in the sense that it's like 100% evil because there's nothing 100% evil that lives. So what's the point? Nobody knows. They just need something. It's a form of entertainment. Religion is is a form of entertainment and they can create in the mind a doctrine and then they can contribute to the doctrine uh, ad infinitum and then if they point out a one true fact that oh saturnian magic is going on it's not what you know we're going to explain it and now a hundred percent demonize the whole concept of there is a benevolent side of Saturn. Why wouldn't there be? That it has strength, it has old age, it has wisdom, and it has truth. And it has, it was called Kronos, but that's, all that stuff is just an inkling of an idea. <clears throat> but if you look up Saturnus Fraternus, Fraternus Saturnus, they're benevolent. They have to be benevolent Long-term Saturn worship is benevolent. It's like Moses. So this, this whole Saturnian thing was a short-term project. It's going to fade like that. And then what are you going to do? They're going to forget about it. They're not going to go back and say, Okay, since we're you know keeping tabs on everything that we've done in the community of truthers, or whatever you want to call it, false, falsers, that, okay, we were wrong about Saturn. It's not 100% bad because it's not, they're not using that Kabbalistic uh, ritual anymore. They're using uh, Mars rituals, which is probably just as much. I mean, really, this whole thing is, why do they attempt in theology 
to 100% no. We 100% know everything. So now you're going to learn it. They can never come out and say, hey, let's try and attempt to learn this together because we don't necessarily know everything about the world or universe or worlds or universes or types of Kabbalahs that have ever existed. <laughs> All right. 